Hi, this is Don Downey with Forest Metrics. I'm going to show you how to set up your dot tally settings. Dot tally is a very fast way that you can tally trees in Forest Metrics Pro. You can work with up to 16 different tally sheets at once, each set up for an individual species product. I'm going to go into settings and select tree measurement method. And under measurement method, I'm going to change it to dot tally, which is a single product by a merchantable height. When I do that, I see this dot tally sheet setup show. So I touch that with my finger. Now, on the left, you will see all the different trees that you've selected, you've saved to your, to your list. And each of these sections, I'll look at red maple for instance, this is the setting of the red maple tally sheet. Now, on the left, you see these are the diameter increments that will show up on this tally sheet. On the right, you'll see the height increments. So this is indicating diameters from 10 inch to 40 inch in two, two inch increments and heights from eight to 80 in eight foot increments. Now, this is the default setup. This is what all the tally sheets will be unless you indicate otherwise. The only thing you have to specify explicitly is what product is this tally sheet working with. So you have to assign a product to that tally sheet. So this is now saying that this tally sheet is for red maple saw log. Now, I can assign that over here to one of my 16 slots. I have 16 tally sheets to work with, and I'll say for my first one, I want that to be red maple. Now, I will set up another one for sugar maple, sugar maple saw logs. And let's say I needed a pulp sheet. I'm going to just take other hardwood, which I indicated in my species list, and I'm going to set this up for pulp, which is to say I'm going to run the diameters down to 6 inches. So my diameters are all going to be 6, 8, 10, and so forth. Now, I don't have to fill out this entire sheet if I'm not going to be calling pulp up in you know the, the 20, 24-inch range. So for the sake of illustration, I'm just going to run it in 2-inch increments up to... 20 inches and we'll just ignore the rest. You don't have to utilize the whole tally sheet. And I'm going to say my third sheet is going to be other hardwood. So I have my dot tally sheets all ready to go. So I can hit the back button and go home. Now when I go to my plot page, now I'm looking at my dot tally sheet. So you'll see at the top, these are my 16 slots of which I've only used three. So you touch on the species that you want to tally. I touched on red maple and it's showing, it's confirming red maple. Now I can touch by diameter and height to tally an individual tree. You'll see it's on green, which means you're adding trees every time you touch. So with my finger now, I'm going to touch on say 14 inch by 32 feet. Every time I do that, I'm tallying an additional tree, 16 inch by 24 feet. Go to sugar maple, 14 inch by 24 feet, 16 inch by 32 feet, and so forth. Other hardwood, now this is what I'm using for a pulp sheet, so notice that my diameters change. Now they're 6, 8, 10, and so forth. So other hardwood pulp, 10 inch by 30, well, by 40. Add a couple of those, 12 inch by 32, 8 inch by 32, and so forth. Now, if you make a mistake, you can just flip it to subtract, and the red will highlight the negative button, and then you can just hit once, and then it'll take one away and return it to add. So I can subtract another one and add them back. And that's it for dot tally. Now, dot tally, the tree measurement method is in no way correlated to the sampling method, as in you can do a dot tally using a variable radius prism or fixed area plots. You're not limited to 100% tallies when you're using the dot tally functionality. So for a lot of folks, if you don't have to take multiple products, if you don't have to take additional attributes like a growing status and you're working and you can be confined to 16 or fewer dot tally sheets, this can be an exceptionally fast way to cruise a plot. Thanks.